So it's going to be constant rain from about 2 o'clock onwards. Hello everyone, how are we going? As you can hear, the rain is absolutely pelting down on this tarp. This is a brand new tarp. So, in New Zealand we're all under level 4 lockdown due to the coronavirus and we can't leave our properties so I've resorted to setting up a bit of a camp in my backyard I've got a bit of property to do it on and the weather is awful just how we like it and we've got some yummy food some new gear to test out including a new sleeping bag a tarp, some lights and yeah it's going to be a good overnight trip so stick around if you enjoy rain camping and camping gear Kingsford things, that's all I got. Pull that right up. Right up to the top. There we go. See them warming up, they're going to take about 20 25 minutes to get white hot. And then we can chuck them in our barbecue, which I'll show you in a minute. Get that up to temp, and we'll chuck our pork in there. It's going to be delicious. I prepped it last night, it's been um, salted in the fridge just for 24 hours, so it's going to get really nice crackling. Yeah, it's going to be a yummy snack. Some Alright, so I better give you the grand tour anyway. So I've set everything up. Got a few trees in the property which I can um, tie the tarp up to. And it's just pegged down on the lawn. Pretty straightforward. And I'm using the Monga tent and the nature hike table and uh, chair. So I've got my new sleeping bag and this is from i'll just turn the brightness up so i've got a new sleeping bag to try out this is from nature hike they sent me this one and this is a duck down this is rated to minus two degrees so looking forward to having a sleep in that and i've just got the old bush buck inflatable mat there tried and tested i know that works really good all right our coals are up to temp so we'll get the barbecue heating up and we'll get this delicious pork in there Here, nice and hot. We'll heat that up, get it nice sterilized, and we'll chuck our pork in. All right, so that in there. get out of there. All right, this is all dehydrated. Beauty. Right, so there's our pork. Just gonna sit that over the heat. We'll keep an eye on that. It's gonna be delicious. We'll listen to the sizzle. Gotta have a look at that. I don't know if 
you can hear that. The pork is sizzling away. Bit of a break in the rain, but the wind's hanging around. And I apologise for any background noises. I've had a helicopter and my neighbour's buddy doing stuff in the garden. Anyway, let's have a look at the new camera. So this is the Canon M50 Mark II. So the reason I invested in this is because it's going to make my footage more cinematic and just much, much more professional looking. And uh, I've been needing one of these for many, for many since the beginning, really. But um, it's kind of just been making do with my phone, which is filming now, which still does a pretty good job. So basically, I've got this external cage around it, which is a small rig cage. It's just sort of a protector cage. But basically, um, I'm not going to run into the full details of it. But yeah, it's got a screen which I can pop out and rotate. So when I'm filming myself, or it's on the tripod, I can see what I'm filming. So that see with the phone, I can't do that unless it's in selfie mode. But um, yeah, so this is gonna be a great new tool for the channel and it's gonna make some epic footage, that's for sure. So I've got the Dutch oven heating up in the oven, heating up in the barbecue rather, and I'm just going to cut these into thin slices, just real thin, and just going to make little homemade chips, just small little chips that fry up nice and easy. Here we go, there's all our chips, nice sort of even sizes, and they fry up nice in some oil in the Dutch oven. So that'll be heating up now, we'll go check on the food anyway. Alright, so I'm filming this with the new camera and you can already see how it's blurring the background out, just filming much better, so I'm really looking forward to playing with this camera. Still got a few things to get used to, but I'll just show you the rain now, so as you can see from about 2pm, it's about, uh, it's 12.30 right now, so from 2pm it starts raining and it gets heavier later in the night through the early hours so it's going to be constant rain from about two o'clock onwards so not far to go until that rain hits all right i think that meat's just about done in the chips so we'll go get that out serve it up and right on cue the rain is just starting to spit Holy moly, look at this. We've got our potato chips, it's just raw potato straight in the oil. Mm. Go get some salt. Look 
at us. Bowl of chips, deep fried potato. Check this out. Check that out. That up there for you. Delicious. Mm. So good. is so tender. Mm. Something about crackling. There's so much flavour in it. The crunch. Mm. And lots of fun was happening because we were young. Just waiting for the heavy rain. Finishing off my pork. Beautiful crackling. My chips, they're good as well. Yeah, I'm just watching an episode of Clay Tool Stories here under the tarp. So, we're up there and we're cruising along and I see this turkey on the side of the road. I said to my girlfriend, turkey? Man, the last time I ate turkey was Christmas time with my family, when we were a family back when I was like 10 years of age. Ooh, it's wind. It's windy. There's a kayak up there under the lemon tree. We'll be getting back out on that soon. As you can see, there's no dinner left. It didn't last long. The pork actually shrunk, so it was only a small pork belly anyway. Not a lot of meat on it. It was just crackling and fat. Oh, it's sort of beer for tonight. Isn't it? Show you this is from Good Company. That's a gin, gin and tonic. Had them in the fridge, can't go out and get them, so I get it from the supermarket. But I wasn't going to make a special trip during the lockdown. So. Cheers, everyone. You can hear that rain's really coming down now. So I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. Set up my gas cooker.
this. Now we're cooking with this. new torch. This is the XTAR R30, 1200 lumen, little mini hand torch. It's a very powerful little torch. We've got one, two, three, four settings. As you can see, super bright torch. Pretty awesome. Perfect amount of water there. Okay, I showed you earlier the new headlamp light, hopefully you can hear me. It's a new headlamp light, so you can see it's pretty, pretty grungy, it's not fully charged at the minute. It's pretty good. So I'm going to be giving away one of these to a lucky subscriber. So all you've got to do is so windy. All you have to do is comment headlamp in the comments and I'll choose a winner during the week. And yeah, I'll send one of these out to you. New Zealand is only please. Uh, it's a bit difficult sending overseas at the moment, so yeah. First, let's go and check out the. Uh, let's go check out the new sleeping bag. Let's see what that's like. I haven't even hopped in it yet.
so light and fluffy. You can already feel the warmth building with the duck down. I might even have to use my sleeping bag line off this pretty cold. Alright everyone, I'm going to jump in the sleeping bag, I've got a book to read, and the rain to listen to, so it should be a pretty good night, that wind's pretty violent, so I've just gone around and tightened up the, the straps on the fly on the tarp, but yeah, if it comes down, it comes down, I'll be sweet in here anyway, so with that said, I'll see you all in the morning. It's going to be raining in the morning too. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do for breakfast. Maybe bacon and eggs. I've got some bacon and stuff, so maybe I'll use that up. It's been a great afternoon spending it with my subscribers. In my backyard, in the COVID lockdown. Making the most of the situation. See you in the morning. Into my nice new duck down sleeping bag. I'm very excited, it's going to be a nice warm sleep. Alright everyone, see you later. Good morning everyone, this sleeping bag is brilliant, so comfy, so warm, nice and fluffy, I love the duck down, it done a great job. Get up and make a hot drink. Alright, rain started up again. Get a hot drink going. Well, the reason I sit on the plate is so when this gets hot it doesn't melt through the mesh table. So if you're wondering why it's on a plate, that's why. Right, so I've only got one camera, uh, one battery for this, so I need to get some more batteries. So I've charged it back up. I'm going to play around with it.
is hot. Beauty. Right, time for bricky. It rains just starting again. Bacon. There's an egg here somewhere. Maybe drop down there. Bacon egg toasted sandwich. dangerous all right get our bacon in This is my phone rig. Samsung S10, Rode Video Micro, and the Ulanzi phone clamp. It's an aluminium clamp, nice and strong. And we've got a Inca tripod. And here comes the rain. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to talk about. I had a great, great sleep in the uh, new sleeping bag, ducked down from Nature Hike. Awesome. So thank you, Nature Hike. I will do a proper review on my next trip when we're out of lockdown. It's a great sleeping bag. Alright, ready for our bread to go in almost. Where was I? Yeah, I want to say a big thanks to CheckNZ and Camp Fish Repeat for your donations during the live stream. My first ever live stream on the channel. It went really well. Lots of questions which I enjoy to answer. 
so yeah it was awesome and we'll try and do a couple of live streams a month I think maybe while I'm out and about if I've got reception and do it at camp or while I'm fishing or something but yeah it went, it went really well and also I've got two new members who joined my channel catch and reload and one other I forget who you are sorry bits of bacon get a couple of bits on there a bit of bread there we go the side of bacon delicious and on cue the rain's fallen doesn't that look tasty? Yum. Bacon egg sandwich. Oh, breakfast is served. delicious I butter my bits of bread and put them butter side down the pan so it fries it up nice golden brown mmm mmm Beautiful free range eggs from the chickens next door. Mm. <coughs> Last bit. Mm. It was so good. As I was saying before, new sleeping bag, awesome. Wouldn't be in there for five minutes, you can already feel the warmth circulating around your body. They've done a much better job, Nature Hike, on the zippers on these more expensive versions. The other ones zip like these zippers, they catch. They catch on the material. It's a pain. But it is a great tent. I'll keep using it. I can live with that. Mmm. <clears throat> Thank 
take this cooker away. Mmm. So I actually got sent this cooker as well from a company called Lexada. It's a little foldable. Folds away. Quite cool. It's been a pretty good stove. I haven't had it long. Maybe a month. Got a little igniter on there. Packs away in the box. Pretty compact. Of that B roll, that new camera is awesome. The Canon M50, you'll be seeing this on a lot more of my adventures, almost all of them, in fact. And as you can see, it makes the quality of the content just more cinematic. This is an awesome little rig, this thing. Yes, we better go over this. So, if you want to win a headlamp, it's one exactly like this. Showed you it last night. It's got three settings. Bam, bam, bam. Got a little rear light as well. If you want to win that, just comment headlamp in the comments, and I'll choose a winner. New Zealanders only, please. It's a bit hard sending stuff overseas at the moment. So, just comment headlamp in the comments, and I'll choose someone during the week. Good luck. start cleaning and packing up. It's been a good little overnighter in the backyard. It's helped me ease off my lockdown worries. Hopefully it doesn't go on too much longer here in New Zealand. I'm keen to get back out into the wild. 
Lots of fishing, lots of camping to be done. Lots more adventures. Lots more people to meet. More collabs. More gear to try out. It never ends. So thank you for coming along on this one. I'm going to start doing a thing at the end of my videos where I recommend a channel to go and check out. So starting today, go check out Backcountry Kiwi, Top Bloke Zeb, there's awesome camping and bushcraft, lots of stuff in the bush, so go check them out and give them a subscribe. Backcountry Kiwi. And don't forget to comment headlamp in the comments to win this little headlamp. Alright everyone, I'm going to pack up and we'll see you in the next adventure. Hopefully not in my backyard. See you later.